Welcome to our Oracle database tutorial. Today we're tackling an intriguing question that many learners encounter. Our viewer asks, creating indexes on columns where primary key or unique key constraints already present. Let's break down the question. While Oracle automatically creates an index for columns with primary key or unique key constraints, our viewer wonders why it's recommended to create an additional index. What could be the rationale behind this practice? Okay, we're back with another tech video. Now I'm gonna go through your question, answer it, and hopefully you get the solution. Now remember to say just a little bit crazy like me and you'll get there to that resolution. All right, let's continue on to the video. In Oracle, when you define a primary key or unique key constraint on a column, the database automatically creates an index for that column. This is done to ensure data integrity and to speed up query performance. However, explicitly creating an index on these columns is still recommended. This is because the automatically created index may not be optimized for all types of queries or workloads. By creating your own index, you can customize its properties, such as the index type, storage parameters, and even the indexing strategy, which can lead to improved performance in certain scenarios. Additionally, having an explicit index allows you to manage it more effectively. You can rebuild, drop, or modify it without affecting the integrity constraints directly. In summary, while Oracle does create indexes automatically for primary and unique keys, explicitly creating your own indexes can provide better optimization and management for your specific database needs. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. When creating indexes on columns with primary or unique key constraints, you can give your index a meaningful name for easier reference. This makes it more human-readable. You can also create an explicit index while defining the constraint using the using index clause. This allows for better organization of your database. For more detailed information, check the official documentation on creating indexes and constraints. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. When creating indexes on columns with primary or unique key constraints, it's important to note that these indexes often have unusual names, like those starting with sys or derived from the constraint name. To improve clarity, it's advisable to maintain a consistent naming convention for your indexes. And that's it guys. We've gone through, answered your question, I hope, and you found that resolution. Guys, if this helped, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And until next time, have a good one.